So today I'd really like to talk about um, uh, how computers can teach you to think and care. And I'd like to start with a little video for you to reflect on and, uh, and think about while we're here. Of course, the first thing that happens is it's worked all morning and now it's not working. <laughs> students in large classrooms feel in many universities 
basically bored and disengaged because we're still using chalk instead of technology to help us teach our classes and to help people learn authentic learning situations in authentic learning situations. And so even though in our everyday life, uh, we have all of these tools that students are using on a regular basis. They're not using these tools in, um, in the classroom. And so there's a huge disconnect. However, on the positive note, it was Michael Wesch's class that put, to get, put together this classroom to do this learning ecology, reflecting on what students want to do in producing this video, which if you think, take a look at uh, Alan Collins and Halverson's work, they're basically talking about digital technology not being instantiated in school systems and why is that and how can we get them to do 21st century competencies using computers to design new knowledge, to work in groups, to create um, new products. And so a lot of what I'm talking about today is the use of technology from artificial intelligence and education perspectives, what we know from the computer science world, how we link that with the learning science world. And one of the most famous computer scientists, John Self, uh, asked the question, how can computers be designed uh, that care for us rather than just helping us learn um, to problem solve in various domains? And so I'm going to talk a little bit about how our models of psychology and learning have evolved and in the context of what technology can or cannot do uh, to help us um, help students learn. And I'll talk about some of the theories that drive the technology-rich learning environments that I use, and how we can transfer the models of learning uh, to educational settings. And in particular, I'll give some examples from my own work uh, in medical education and talk about the future. So um, as I said, John Self was basically saying at, at a, as a keynote many years ago at an AI Ned conference that um, at that time, Tamaguchis were really popular and everybody was taking care of these computer pets. And so we were caregivers to computers. And so the question is, how far have we moved from the caregiver for a computer to care, take care, well, from a caretaker for the computer to a caregiver, where now the computers can give back to us? And so um, I take a look at some of the systems that we have available to us to today. And I'm, you know, one is this be fit phenomenon, which uh, is very much in the fitness craze for a lot of busy people, that um, basically keeps track of your, your fitness goals and what you do with this technological we board. And I guess the question is, is, is this a, a, an example of how computers can actually care for us? Because if you miss your Wii PlayStation one day, then your little um, pedagogical agent will say, Oh, Susie, where have you been for the last four days? <laughs> Don't, you know, you've missed your training. So how can we go from just taking care of computers to computers taking care of us? So what other examples are there of technologies for accomplishing our personal goals? Um, things that we, we really don't think about are now part of our daily lives, like dy dynamic reminder systems that we can't live without, telling us where we need to be and when. We also have recommender systems. So if you have a favorite book author like uh, Elizabeth George and you go to Amazon.com, the recommender systems will tell you, well, maybe you'd be interested in Kathy Wright's latest uh, book. Um, we have relationship technologies, such as Facebook, where we share all sorts of information to keep in touch, um, where we may not know um, that our, one of our friends is a scuba diver, for instance, until we go to Facebook and find out she's in Hawaii scuba diving. Um, so all of these are basically caring for us and keeping us in touch with people, which often people have said that technology is sort of an anti-social thing, but in fact, it promotes social sharing. Then there are immersive systems where we learn through simulations. Um, you know, some people are teaching people to overcome phobias using technology by immersing them in situations uh, that, you know, if you're afraid to fly or you're afraid of snakes, they can provide you in a simulated setting that has this flooding um, behavior to get over your fears. Then there are web-based helpline um, opportunities, and one of my colleagues at McGill is particularly um, addressing addiction uh, of young children's gambling behavior and has developed a system of online help system to help kids um, you know, talk about their gambling issues in an anonymous way. So that's sort of some of the, the computer technology that is visible in our everyday life. 
that is sort of helping us along in our daily lives and, and caring about what our personal goals are. So I think some of what John Self has said is that we now have computers that care for us, uh, like our personal GPSs and everything else that we have on our iPhones um, are really our personal applications that are personalized to us. Um, but computer, sci uh, our computer scientists alone are not the only ones thinking about computers that care. Um, cognitive scientists have been looking at the connection between cognition and learning for a while. And Mark Lepper, as early as 1988, said that cognitive scientists were like the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz, that were heartless people that had, you know, that were only thinking about the mind and not thinking about the heart. And so he was looking at the intersection of um, how cognitive scientists could include motivational aspects and affective aspects in how we study student learning um, in using computers. And one of the, the things that he had been very focused on is looking at student interests in the context of choice in, in computer games, how you could personalize technology for the personal needs of the individuals, providing some um, student control of the learning situation, and providing optimal challenges in the context of using technology. So that all of these things taken together could be studied using technology to see whether all of these aspects would improve the learning situation. <clears throat> there are now Ben de uh, at Sussex University has been looking at motivationally intelligent tutoring environments where um, the computer system will adapt to the motivational needs of learners. And the way that they do that is by using a set of um, affective meters in the context of learning where students report their self-report during their interactions how bored or interested they are in the material so that the computer can adapt to whatever needs that they may have at that time. Um, so I think one of the most important things that I'm interested in right now is looking at meta-affective knowledge. So we've talked about metacognition for years thinking about thinking, but what about thinking about the emotions that affect us in our daily lives in learning? How can we become more aware of our feelings? How can we monitor and regulate them in the learning context? Um, one, thing that one of the areas of um, research that we're interested in now is how expert tutors can provide both cognitive feedback and motivational or affective feedback uh, in the context of learning, and which one of these forms of feedback would be more optimal. So what they've been finding, which is no surprise, is that cognitive feedback leads to better learning and that motivational feedback has a larger impact on self-confidence. But you don't want people to be better learners without feeling more confident. So why we have to have a connection between learning and confidence and that people have to know that they know and be, become more aware of those situations. <clears throat> 